All right, good afternoon, YouTube. Another fragrance review. Busting out four of them today, maybe more. Um, you have to forgive me for the last couple weeks. I said I was going to be, be doing these fragrances, and I just have not felt very good. I haven't, this is the first day I've been up and out of bed uh, for the most part, and so uh, I have a little energy to do this. So, um, so, so the fragrance I want to review today is by the House of Scent Story, okay? It's this one right here Scent Story Ice Gold. Now, if you're uh, unfamiliar with Scent Story, their fragrances are um, are themed. They basically uh, give you uh, a story behind each one of their fragrances, hence the name Scent Story. Um, and I reached out to them in the past. They sent me their 24 Gold uh, Platinum, Platinum Oud Edition, 24 Gold Elixir. Um, and I've reviewed those already. So although they probably don't get a lot of view time on YouTube, uh, check them out because they're, uh, they're, their fragrances are all very interesting. And I've always said that you can always tell a scent story fragrance. You just, it has that DNA, its own DNA. Uh, their fragrances do tend to be a little more on the, on the sweet and fruitier side, uh, uh, which one of my favorite fragrances that I, you know, I don't wear a lot anymore. Um, I do tend to wear this one in the cold weather, 24 Gold. Their standard gold uh, fragrance is one of the first ones they came out with. And the price has shot up because it's such a good fragrance. And it still is. Um, so that's a great one. So I was really excited to get some of these newer fragrances. Um, and I've said in the other videos, my favorite scent story fragrance is the 24 Gold Platinum Oud Edition. To me, it's fresh, it's sweet, it's got that rose, it's got that oud, which I think tones down uh, some of the sweetness. But these new ones here that they sent me, uh, uh, the Elixir line, Azure, Ambrosia, Neroli, and this other one, uh, which I believe is the only other fragrance in that line, they sent me 24 Gold Elixir Platinum. I think they might have sent me that in the past. Uh, they, they did, and I've reviewed that one before. This one's one of their newer ones called Ice Gold. And what I'm going to do is just kind of tell you a little bit about what I can find due to my research on um, Fragrantica. Okay, just to give you some of the notes there. Uh, this is a unisex fragrance. And let's tell you what, let's see what they say on the website about it, okay? So uh, what I've done in the past, I've read you their story. Um, and I'm not going to do that today. I'm just trying to wrap these up a little quicker. Uh, because it's probably easier if you just read their story uh, yourself. And pretty easy just to go to the website and check it out, right? Um, so, uh, let me go on to the notes here, okay? So, their theme behind this seems to be very, like, icy, you know, cold. Uh, so, top notes on it, bergamot, apple, red fruits. Uh, middle notes are rose, cedarwood, and jasmine. And on your base notes, you're looking at ambroxan, patchouli, and white musk. Now, I put this one on last night, a little bit on my arms. My girlfriend did not like it, but, you know, she's, I, you know, a lot of times I put it on my arm and I jam it in her face, and it's not the right way to really, uh, you know, have her review the cologne. But what I'm going to do is I don't want to waste this stuff because I want to actually wear it out, but I'm going to put a little bit on here. There we go. All right. This one here, I definitely get the vibe that they're going for. Again, you still have that scent story DNA, but of the four that I reviewed right now, this one between Neroli, Azure, Ambrosia, and Ice Gold, this is my favorite. Um, and probably because I love that rose note. And whenever, the, and just like I love the, uh, the um, um, their other fragrance, the 24 Gold Platinum Oud, which has rose. Whenever you throw rose in a fragrance, I don't know, I used to think that I, I hated rose. And I, when I pick up a rose and I smell it, I'm not really, I don't want, really like it. But for some reason, when I smell it in a fragrance, I absolutely love it. And it's probably because it's not really overwhelming. But to give you an example, some fragrance that I do like with rose in it, um, I just told you 24 Gold Platinum Oud. Uh, Ferrari Essence Oud is a very heavy rose-based fragrance. Um, what else? What's the other one I, I just picked up? There's another one I picked up. Well, never mind. You get two, I guess. But this one here, you can definitely smell the red fruits, the apple, definitely that rose, and there is definitely a, probably do the Ambroxan. Uh, I'm not really sure on that. It, this just has a, it, it has a, a very odd cooling aquatic rose scent. To, that's what I get from it. It's, it's a combination of, you definitely smell this and you think, you can definitely get the bergamot out of that too. This is a great fragrance, guys. I mean, this one here, I mean, if I had to choose between, of those four that I reviewed, which one I would like to, I would purchase, it'd be this one here. Again, you're going to have to like rose. And I'm just going to go and smell some of the other ones. I'm going to go back to the Neroli. That takes on a totally different smell after you smell something else, right? Um, okay, the Ambrosia. Back to Azure. Mm. See, the Azure, 
It smells totally different than when I first uh, sprayed it. God, they're all such good fragrances, but they are sweeter fragrances, okay? So um, let's see what other people have to say about this fragrance here. Uh, based on the website on Fragrantica. Now, if you go to Fragrantica, they only have three notes on there. They only have bergamot, jasmine, and base notes as incorrect. You'll want to check out those notes on the 24 Gold website, okay? Uh, this fragrance we had about $115 a bottle for 100 mils. Uh, you can pick up the scent story uh, through my links on eBay, actually. Um, I'll put some links where you can get this stuff for much, much more competitive prices, guys. I'm looking right now. And you can get, you can, this can be had about 60 bucks, 50, 60 bucks a bottle, which is actually absolutely a great deal. Uh, and that's for 3.4 ounces. So you can pick up the sampler package if you, uh, you know, want, don't really want to commit to the full size. 13 bucks will get you the four that I reviewed. So I definitely urge you to check that out if you're leaning towards purchasing any of these. Um, I'm going to smell this again here. Uh, that is a, man, that is a good one. That The rose in that really comes out. I really like that one. Uh, let's see what other people have to say. Uh, this one here has been compared to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Uh, it's been compared by uh, Light uh, Light Blue Intense as well. And one person put that Aqua de Parma. I've never smelled Aqua de Parma, but this one has been compared to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Now, I've never smelled that cologne, but 14 people have said it does. Now, that's always very subjective. Uh, I like to see when you have something like in the 300s, you know, a couple hundreds. You, you know that that's a lot of different noses to, to kind of be in agreement. Um, but... One thing I, you know, I, I um, let's see, let's for ice gold. This person says, I agree with this person below. The, the notes list for ice gold could not be any more wrong. On my thought, it took me a while. Uh, so my nose, this is a dupe of Altier Cedar Atlas. Uh, it has that juicy, fruity top and uh, a generous dose of ISO E Super. Uh Okay, to me this is a home run. Haven't been a big fan of other 24 goals. This guy tried this and really likes it. Um, I'm trying to read you the shorter ones. Um, this person said, what a great scent makes me think of being in a fruit and flower orchid and getting hit with scents. Very fresh, clean, perfect spring and summer. I definitely agree with that. Um, so this one said, this is this one said here, this guy said, uh, 9 out of 10, awesome. Smells 90% like our moth tag her, which our moth is a house that creates uh, fragrances that are kind of clones of other fragrances. So I have not smelled that. I'd be interested in smelling that um, because I do like a lot of the Armoff stuff as well. Uh, this one says incorrect database. Uh, well, we know that because I read it off the, the 24 Gold website. Let's see here. So this person also compared this to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Now that's interesting to me because I would definitely like to try that and see because one thing I don't like is, just me personally, is getting a fragrance and then knowing that you're getting a, you know, if you're buying a clone of something where you're trying to duplicate that fragrance for a much more cost effective price, I totally get that. I do that with like some of the creeds because for me, I'll never spend $300 for a bottle of clone. I just won't do it. It's just not me. Um, but that's one thing like I like about, you know, the zoologist clones, the imaginary authors, is not much that smells like them. And you pretty much are smelling very, very unique. So I would hate to get a fragrance and then have somebody, you know, you think you're wearing something very unique and then they accuse you and be like, oh, is that Dolce & Gabbana? No. It's not Dolce & Gabbana. So, not that they're, you know, they make a bad fragrances at all. Like, they're all good, guys. But it's just, I like, me personally, to be wearing something that smells so unique. When people smell it, they're like, whoa, where did you get that? And what I like about some of these niche fragrances, and not even niche sometimes, like, for instance, my, you know, uh, one of the fragrances, I, I my favorite in my collection is $15. And that's Cigar by Remy Latour. It's cheap. It's been around forever, but nobody ever wears it. No, at least not that, I, that I've seen. I've never bumped into anybody wearing that. And when I wear it, I just smell unique. I love the way it smells. And people have complimented me on that. And that goes for several of the Remy Latour line. And what I like is that, you know, at least where I live, uh, which is a pretty big town, I, I don't go into my Macy's or uh, my, my uh, you know, my local uh, Rite Aid or whatnot, or, and, or Walgreens or Kmart or Walmart, and find that stuff. So I know that I'm be wearing something that somebody had to be into colognes and into fragrances to actually make decisions to buy online. And to buy and buy online, because most people, when they buy a fragrance, I think, you know, a lot of guys don't have 100 bottles. Of, unless you're a cologne freak like me, and you probably are if you're watching this channel. Um, most people, they buy some cologne, they'll go into your Macy's or Sephora, and they'll see what they got. They're, you know, the newest stuff out there. They'll pay their $60, $70 for a bottle, 
and they'll be on their way. And then you know what? They'll bump. You know, the other people will be wearing the same thing because the newest fragrances are going to be purchased because they're pushed so hard in the stores. Uh, so for me, I personally like to wear ones that are very unique. And so you know, if that is true that this does smell like Dolce and Gabbana, it's probably one I wouldn't buy in, put in my collection just because I don't want to have something that's going to be smelling like something that to me is just you're going to find you know uh, in your discount section at Ross. Nothing wrong with that. I'll you know if it's if I have to spend a hundred dollars for a bottle of this or get the same vibe for $20, I'm gonna get the same vibe for 20, and that's just how I shop. But nonetheless, this is a fantastic fragrance, and I'll keep you posted as time goes on. Definitely check out the information on Fragrantica. Definitely, if you're interested in this, I, of the four I reviewed, this is my favorite of the four, just because of that rose note. Um, hey, I'm gonna go back to it again. It is a really, really fresh rose-based, it's an awesome fragrance, guys, it really is. Um, it definitely one, I definitely wouldn't mind uh, you know, and like I said, when I put it on the other night and I, I, I was laying in bed, I just kept smelling my arm and I just, I just, I, I you can still smell it. I just, I loved it. So, uh, it is a good fragrance, guys. So, all right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll put links in description. Um, stay tuned for more websites. I'm eventually going to be creating a, a website which has all the clones I review with real-time listings, kind of like I do with my Invicta Watches dot store, Breitling Watches dot store, and Fat Watches dot com. Uh, those are kind of one-stop shopping malls where you can just you know watch my video, you go to the website, and bam, you get the best prices right there from the rep most reputable sellers. I love eBay because everything comes really fast at eBay. Uh, it's I've been very happy buying fragrances on eBay, um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. So those are my scent story, the four that they sent me. I will not be reviewing any other scent stories, so if you've been watching this video and it keeps linking to the next video, uh, it's because I want you to see all the different scent stories I reviewed. I'm just going to close up one more time here with what I have reviewed by Scent Story. Um, Scent Story, if you're watching this, thank you very much for the opportunity to review your fragrances. You guys really do make some fantastic, fantastic high-quality fragrances, and I really am honored to be able to review those. So here we go. You have your Ice Gold, 24 Ice Gold, Ambrosia, your Azure, and your Neroli. So guys, if you're getting these, uh, 13 bucks gets you the sample pack through my links. Definitely, I'd urge you to check that out. Uh, this way, you, you can be the judge on which one you like more if you want to make that purchase. Uh, if you guys have any of these or, and uh, want to share your experience, man, drop a comment. I absolutely love it. And uh, keep watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a good day, guys.